Hey everyone, wanted to do a video showing my current collection that's on display. Um, I really love seeing everybody else's videos like this, so thought it would be my turn. So here's um, just an overview of the custom detolfs I built. They have um, LED dimmers in them. Right now it's just set at 100% for this video, but usually keep them about 50 or 25%, maybe even a little lower when um, watching a movie here in this room. And also, I kind of created the different backgrounds um, and put together a pattern. So kind of the different red ones and then the, the lighter grays, blacks, and then some of the printed designs. Um, kind of laid out on purpose that way. But finally got the display done after many months and I'm sure I'll be swapping figures out rotating through different ones that's just kind of how I like to do things but let me uh just kind of walk up and get a little closer to some of these and I'll just kind of talk about them a little bit here we got a uh, Terminator uh, a T600 it's a pretty cool figure here is one on a printed backdrop. Um, it's actually, um, I took it from Halo 5 um, and then put some Star Wars Death Star and Star Destroyer in the background outside the window. But the figure is um, Reddick. It's really cool. Then I think every display needs a ninja, at least in my mind. So this is actually a custom ninja. I made and actually um, painted that mask on him. That's pretty cool. Then down here at the bottom is, gosh, this figure's really old. Maybe, I'm guessing, 10 years. Uh, I've been collecting hot toys for, for quite a while. Um, but this is from Resident Evil. It's kind of the... Um, the mutated version of this um, character. It's got that cool knife. And um, I really like this uh, little uh, mechanical robot here. And we got uh, Kylo Ren. I thought this would look awesome on the dark red background. I really like this pose. I think I found the pose online. I forget it's an official Hot Toys photo or something that inspired me or maybe someone in the community um just really cool here's a soldier story um soldier i tweaked him a little bit and customized him just a little bit but pretty cool figure here's another uh printed backdrop this is uh, another resident evil um yeah, I forget which movie, maybe the, the fourth or fifth movie, I kind of lose track, but one of the soldiers and the backdrops from screenshots from the Division game by Ubisoft. And I put some little bricks and, and um, kind of debris and newspaper and stuff um, just to add a, a sense of, um, you know, it being a, a real environment. Here at the bottom, some custom figures I made. Um, just for fun. Gosh, these are probably the oldest ones um, that have been on display for many years. I just kind of like them. Kind of uh, looking through a map and, you know, they're loaded out with their gear. They're kind of, you know, scavengers just surviving. And I think it just kind of tells a little story. Then I got um, Tony and Shotgun Iron Man. This is probably my current favorite display. This is a scene from Avengers with the Chitauri soldier and Thor getting ready to, to uh, hit him with his hammer. <laughs> but that's a, yeah, I really like this one. It's a fun one. I love that the foot soldier came with all the different debris and stuff. Um, they're on the ground. That's really cool. Here's, um, Captain America and Steve Rogers. And down here on another red background is 
Ant-Man and Scott Lang. Scott Lang's a, a custom. I think it got his head off eBay. And I think it's Magic Cube Toys makes um, made his, um, his outfit. It's really cool. I kind of have a lot of fun with these Avenger figures, putting them in, you know, their superhero form and then their civilian form. So that's a lot of fun for me. And then over here, I have a First Order Stormtrooper, again on the red. I think the, the red against the white just kind of really pops and really makes it uh, interesting and eye-catching. Here's uh, Damn Toys um, figure I'm working on. He's actually a work in progress. I, I don't have him fully geared up yet, but kind of what I do is usually they take a while for me to gear them up. Uh, multiple weekends, just kind of on the kitchen table and stuff. So in between um, building them, um, I end up just kind of the work in progress, putting them in here on the in the display somehow. In this case, he's just kind of relaxing in a chair and has some of his gear and stuff um, laying around him. Like maybe he's just getting back from a battle recovering or prepping and getting mentally psyched to, to go out to battle. But anyway, yeah, he's a work in progress. I'll get him done eventually. I had him up uh, um, maybe a couple years ago, but when I rebuilt uh, my display in here, I, you know, I took him down, I put him back up in the box, but now he's back out. And this is my favorite backdrop. It's just kind of an urban wall with a, a Punisher skull and, you know, I put some blood and stuff. Um, this display is also a work in progress. This is a um, Dark Zone agent. It's the firefighter ver version. I just kind of put him in here like he's maybe um, recovering after a battle, but I'm waiting. I have the Dark Zone Rider figure on pre-order, and hopefully he'll release soon, and I'm going to put him in this display as well, maybe painting that Punisher skull on the wall. So right now this guy's just waiting for his friend to get here, and then I'll, I'll uh, complete that display. Down here at the bottom is another damn toy uh, soldier. He's a uh, Really cool. He's just kind of hanging out. He's got a grenade in his hand and his helmet in, in the other hand. Just checking out the, the scenery. And finally, my last shelf. I have a Alien Warrior. And this, um, I know Hot Toys has released some newer versions. This is one of the really old ones. Um, gosh, I can't even think of how old this one is. If I had to guess, I would say eight years old. Um, but I broke him out recently. I hadn't had him out for quite a few years, but I was really happy that his joints were still solid and none of the rubber is cracked or anything like that. I think um, I live in Southern California where the weather's fairly consistent. It get a little hot, a little cold, but um, on average, it's it's about the same, so I think that helps with um, storage of these things and um, how they hold up over time. But yeah, I always really love the design of alien figures. This is my latest edition. This is Jen Erso from Rogue One, and with a you know a, a printed backdrop of um, you know a scene from Star Wars. And I just have her in this pose for now, but what I really like about this figure is it could be, you know, different displays. It comes with a cool helmet I could put it on. It could be, you know, the Imperial um, version and have the, you know, the batons um, on display as well. I want to pose her up that way. And then here is a soldier story figure. Uh, my parents actually got me um, him last year for Christmas. So he's on display. He's not fully geared out. But what's cool about this one is um, I love it when figures come with like multiple uniforms and gear sets and stuff like that. And this is one of those. So this is kind of his current, his current loadout. But he has some um, camo fatigues and stuff like that and um, different gear and... 
test rigs and other weapons and stuff so I can uh, swap those out and load him up differently and display maybe in a different pose. So I kind of feel like I'm getting double, triple my money's worth with some of these figures when I can set them up with different outfits and poses. And then finally here at the bottom is Hawkeye. I have him on this really light gray background. I just think it looks pretty cool. I actually just tweaked his pose. I, I did have him um, looking a little different. Just thought, you know what? It's Hawkeye. He should be uh, he should be shooting the arrow. Let me get kind of a side view. Looks a little better. There we go. So that's a really cool figure. I really like um, him, and he's got um, a little knife there on his on his boot, and um, a pistol on the side. And that quiver is pretty awesome. I would like to. I probably should put the Ant Man little teeny tiny Ant-Man arrowhead on, but I didn't think about it at the time. But anyway, that's, um, that's my display as of the end of 2017. I'm sure I'll be tweaking it and posting more videos as I rotate figures out and get new ones and change the background designs and rotate out the different colors and, and stuff like that. But... I love this stuff and enjoyed making this video and I hope you guys liked it. Thanks for watching.